Welcome to episode 2 of the Flow Formula. This series is designed to break down the key elements of flow to adopt into your climbing. In the previous episode, we talked about simplifying moves. In this episode, we'll focus on climbing faster. There is a consistent formula across all sports that any good instructor will teach a newcomer. It goes by the acronym TAPS and stands for Technique, Accuracy, Power, and Speed. This is the order of things to work on if one wants to maximize their potential. Applied to climbing, this concept is easy to observe. The climber using clean and efficient technique has more freedom to climb fast than someone with sloppy and wasteful movement. This video will go over some ways to develop that technique and accuracy so that we can naturally climb with speed. In one of my past videos, someone left a comment saying that I have a tendency of re-gripping. This is when you adjust your hand on a hold after the initial contact, and this habit can disrupt your rhythm and diminish your energy. I was recommended to try One Touch, an exercise used by Lewis Parkinson. The concept of One Touch is simple. You are only allowed one instance of contact with a hold. This means that wherever your hand contacts a hold, it stays there until you move off. No readjusting of grip, and matching hands is okay. At first, this seems like a very easy drill to implement. However, if you're not very conscious of your climbing habits, this could catch you off guard even on an easy climb. Try this on your warm-ups, and you may be surprised at how often you subconsciously readjust your grip. One touch is the central exercise I use for improving climbing technique. The absence of regripping means that you have to be very accurate when contacting the hold. And the fact that you have only one chance to be accurate means that you have to find the ideal body position and movement to maximize that accuracy. You can use one touch on climbs ranging from your warm-ups all the way to your red point grade. Look for climbs that have medium to big holds that include jugs, slopers, volumes, and pinches. Crimps are not as effective for this exercise as they have such a small contact area. This is a great exercise for building strength and developing static control. The aim is to hover your moving hand over the next hold for 2 seconds before grabbing it. Do this for every hand movement on the climb. Not only will you be forced to create more tension and scapular engagement, you also quickly learn which body positions are easiest to hold. Once you can hold every end position for 2 seconds, you'll have the confidence in knowing that you have enough time and control to grab holds with accuracy. Try this drill on climbs up to right underneath your flash grade. Soft Hands is a great complement to One Touch as it teaches how to improve accuracy by minimizing impact. The purpose of this drill is to grab holds with as soft of contact as possible. Treat these holds as if they were made of brittle glass that will break if you grab it with too much force. This means timing your movement so that you are decelerating the moment you are about to contact the hold, grabbing it in what is called a hover state. Practicing this will help you develop a softness and fluidity in your climbing. Soft hand works best on vertical to slightly overhanging climbs. Do this exercise on problems that are right up to your flash grade. This last drill will test your ability to execute your technique and accuracy with speed. Pick a climb with sustained movements and no distinct crux. You're going to climb this three times. The first time will be slow and methodical. You're using this as a chance to download the beta and find out the best body positions. Moves are executed mostly static and with precision. The second climb will be done at normal speed. By now you have your sequence mostly dialed and are just making refinements. Confirm that you are choosing the best body positions and using the best parts of each hold. Climb through the problem casually. Your 
Your last lap on this problem will be focused on performance and execution. By now you know every move and hold, all that's left to do is go through the motions with speed. Climb with your best technique and accuracy, hitting every move crisply and with minimum effort. Allow your body to flow through the sequence naturally without any feeling of being rushed. The more you focus on clean execution, the faster you will climb. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Flow can be quite a mystical concept to break down, but I hope I left you with some practical tools to assist you in your own discovery. I'm a big proponent of fundamentals and believe that the better you assemble the components of your machine, the better it will ultimately perform for you. Master the basics, and until next time, move better, climb harder.